What's up, y'all? How's it going? It's your boy Mike, aka Spaz. So this is take three, by the way. I just want to point this out. This is a dab. I'm just taking two of them. I'm trying to make these videos and trying to stay focused. But I'm getting higher and higher every time I try to take these videos, do these videos, and I take these dabs. So we're going to stay focused. This dab is for when we are done. So we're going to set this right over here. We're not even going to fucking touch it. We're not even going to look at it. I might look at it, but you can't look at it. Um, all right, so this episode is about um, spider mites um, and how to take care of them. If anybody watches my things, my bedroom wake and bake, I have talked about it many times how I still have spider mites, how I still put one application of this neem oil and I forget about it because like pretty much they're gone and then they come back a week, two weeks later. Um, and then, you know, minorly and they build up. So, I was trying to find a leaf to show you guys exactly what I'm trying to talk about, but I just sprayed all my stuff and everything's wet and I'm not really sure if you can see it. So, I just went and found one off a normal one that I haven't done yet. And we're just going to quickly talk about it and I'm going to explain what to look for, uh, what to use, uh, how to take care of it. So what to look for is you walk into your little grow room, right, and the leaf's just sitting there right on you know, the bud, just sitting there like this, and you go over and you look at it and you notice that there's some white dots all starting to like, you know, build up and they're weird. They're just little tiny white dots all along, like, you know, all along your leaf. Or, um, say it's really humid, warm, um, and you don't have like an oscillating fan going, there's not a lot of like natural defense going in your tent you might notice in a couple days that there's webs forming back and forth in between the leaves and a lot of white dots that means you have spider mites it sucks I really wish I had a one to show you because I always have them but I don't <laughs> so it really sucks so what you want to do is you want to use some water right away if you don't have anything use some water or if you have small plants, just sit there and wipe them because you want to get them all off. You just, you don't want to set it aside and I'm going to get to it because they're getting to it right now and they're going to fucking get to it before you get to it. Um, now, like I said, I mean, I always have them, but they're never a problem because I have this garden safe stuff that is amazing. Um, and I almost feel like, oh, I did it. I don't need to do it again. And I had an abundance of plants, so I would be lazy. Um, now, it's about a couple months, it's all going down, everything's back to where I'm supposed to be. Like, this is where exactly where I want it to be when I started growing. Now, three or four years later. Almost five years later, actually. Um, but, so, what you want to do, when you think you have them, which, like I said, you'll see the white dots, you want to flip them over, and that's how you're going to really be able to tell. Because you're going to look at these vines right here, and you are going to see little white dots and little black dots. The black dots will be moving, the white dots won't. Because the white dots are seeds, the black dots are the spider mites. If you really, really, really look and you have that good vision, or if you have one of those little pocket microscopes for like your bud to see the trikes, look at them. They're kind of cool. They're kind of disgusting, but they're kind of cool. Um, so you want to take care of that. Uh, one way, if you're freshly vegging for the most part, um, or if you know, you have like a couple months and you have a nice light like my 600 watt, you can just clip it right off, throw it away, and it'll help take care of it, but there's still risk of your other leaves, the smaller ones that you're not going to clip off, because like, you know, your big ones that, you know, and then you have a bunch of little small ones that are going to come right back, you know, you're, you don't want to clip the small ones, but there's still going to be some of the small ones, so when these grow, they're still going to have them, so you're going to still want to take care of them, but quick, easy fix, just pop them right off, get rid of them, it's going to hurt your plant a little bit, it's going to slow down just a little, but if you still have like a month, two months to veg, just fucking do it, you're going to have plenty of time to re-heal it, um, so you're going to want to take care of those, so what you're going to want to do, is go to like Home Depot, Lowe's, I don't know if Walmart has it, but like your local grow store, I'm sure it has it, and it's Garden Safe Neem Oil Extract, it's amazing, um, it's a three-in-one product, it's got insecticide, insecticide, fungicide and miticide in it <clears throat> um, I've never really needed it for the other two I've only really used it for this but I do want to say in my research I've been like oh wait maybe I've had a fungus because some of my leaves just kind of looked like it but it was around the same time that I was spraying for mites so 
it took care of it, I'm guessing, because when I went to go look at it again, they were, it was all clean, taken care of, gone. Like, sounds good. So, you know, only happened a couple times, I think, or maybe like once or twice that I can remember. Great product. It's organic. For get it going, you can use it right up to harvest. Um, I think it's like eight bucks, maybe. Maybe even if it's ten, it's fucking well worth it. Now, what I've done is, like everything, I have a cheat sheet on it. So, um, I have a 25 fluid ounce spray bottle that I use to spray them. Um, that is 18 cc's. Um, now, this stuff's great and you don't want to waste it, so you don't want to make too much. If you're only going to spray for like two, three plants, you really only need half a gallon. Um, or maybe even a spray bottle full, which is almost like a quarter of a gallon. Um, but I actually went through a gallon today, and but I only did mix half a gallon at a time because once you use it, you can't have it sit and use it again unless you're literally going to be using it a couple minutes later. Like, don't want to let it sit because it'll go bad. It's not good. I don't know. It could hurt your plants. It just you got to read this little thing in here. It tells you not to do it. So you want to listen. <laughs> Um, but, uh, 45 cc's for half a gallon, 90 cc's per gallon. To make that simpler, that's 6 tablespoons a gallon, 3 tablespoons, half a gallon, and just go with 18 cc's for 25 ounces in a spray bottle. But what I do, I mix up half a gallon, and then pour it into the spray bottle. So now what you're going to want to do, once you have it all mixed up, pour it in your gallon, shake it up, um, you're going to come in, obviously you're going to want to saturate your plant, you want to douse it, you want to get it soaked, but they live underneath, so you're going to want to spray up as much as you can too, try to like spray with your bottle, like rotate it so it like <laughs> sprays into it, but you want to get your whole plant saturated. Once you're done that, that's not hard when you get into it, you don't want to rush right into a metal highlight or HPF. The reason I say that is because the little water droplets that form on your leaves when you're spraying are going to act as a magnifying glass and they'll burn your leaves, add stress to your plant. You don't want to do that. So what you do, I think mine's been sitting out there for 15 minutes now. I'm going to go check on them, but I want them dry. You just leave them out to dry. I did my flower and as I was doing it, my lights clicked off, so I went okay. And I brought them right in soaking wet because they're going to sit there for 12 hours and dry. They're, that's fine, like, that's perfect. Um, as where my HPS is, I mean, my metal highlight, it's on, it's glowing, it's great, bright, beautiful, but I don't want to put the wet plants underneath. So the T5 and CFL, I've never had a problem, and I've done it right in with it, never had a problem. I will say that, but still be careful. Um, you don't want to dry them, but you want to let them dry naturally. Always do two, three applications. Don't just assume they're done, or you're going to be dealing with them for months, and I mean months. Um, like I said, get an oscillating fan, get that natural defense. Um, what I do also is I strip everything below a certain point. Like, you'll see a, uh, there's a good distance because that dirt, if it gets on your leaves, because I believe that's where they start is the dirt. Um, like when I'm doing transplanting clones and they're too small and they kind of like touch on it and it gets that dirt and then they start growing that dirt. That seems to be where they start from. So keep it clean, strip underneath, give it good. My tall plants, I would actually strip probably this whole like plant length and then let it grow from there. Um, so that's really all I gotta say. Keep up with it, mix it well. Um, like I said, 45 cc's, three tablespoons for a half a gallon, 90 cc's, six tablespoons per gallon. Um, don't over mix because you don't want to waste it, it's great stuff, it's cheap though, you have it, you have the money. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much informative, we kept it under 10 minutes, so I'm going to drop this dab, and I'm going to piece the fuck out and finish my spraying, and then I'm going to keep on with it in 2-3 days. Hope y'all learned something. Peace, Bob, Boca Dots. Stay high, stay medicated, and stay positive. <laughs>